Sound on with Hollywood Hagen. Uh, you know, this is where you know I have the opportunity to sit down with real people. You know, tap in. Uh, you know, with real people doing real things. Today's guest, we got the the, the outspoken, the motivator, the realist, the man that stays, hey. the, the man that stays true to his beliefs. You know, he's consistent in his sound, so I appreciate that. Uh, so, uh, welcome, Tony. Tony Watts, man, what's happening? Hey, what's going on with you, brother? Man, you know, just trying to stay alive out here, man. Stay alive, stay afloat. Yes, sir. You know, uh, so hey, man. Uh, so man, I, I obviously I've been, you know, I've been channeling in, you know, listening to the sound, diving into your story a little bit. You know, definitely inspired. You know, um, you know, I I discovered you from Watts, Watts, California, right, South Central yes, LA. Born and raised okay. South Central LA, Watts, you know. Absolutely. So, much love. So your much man love. over here. Your, your man love. over here was born. In, I was born at Martin Luther King Junior Hospital, bro. So we we two are the same, bro. Right on. But you know, Phoenix yeah. my second home, though. You know, I moved I moved out here when I was like 15 going on 16. So Okay. So so you, you these this is your stumping grounds now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tony, right. I wouldn't be wouldn't be who I am today without Phoenix, so you know. Bro, hey, that's love, man. You you got to represent both sides. That's the thing, man. People get lost, but, you know, understanding where you're from and where you're at is important. Shit, I, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it means everything when it comes to understanding, you know, understanding my music and who I am. Yeah. So let's talk about that a little bit, man. When it comes to When it comes to your music, obviously, you know, uh, you know, you've you've been you've 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 been born in Watts. You you was raised there. You 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 know you you started your your new life here. What where does the inspiration of of your music come from? Where does it stem from? Obviously, you know, with experiences and stuff like that that you've been through. What would you say is kind of your biggest motivation piece on, on your sound? Biggest motivation on my sound would mm -hmm. be uh, would be church. Church. Okay. Yeah, because I was raised. I was raised doing music in uh, church, so that would be the biggest motivator to me getting my rhythm in okay. and obtaining my song would be would be definitely church is where it started. I love it. I could actually hear it in some of your in some of your music. We're gonna get we're gonna get to that for sure. Cause I, I definitely can I definitely can hear the, the gospel. I could definitely hear like the the cadence the change in the cadence. You yeah, know, you kind of you, you kind of bring a different vibe, which is cool, man. That's another thing I want to talk about too, man. Like you're extremely versatile, bro. Yes, you know sir. What I mean, like, like listening to your music, you know, um, let's just get straight into the into the single that's out right now. Smile. Right. You got that's that's featuring uh, Sincerely Collins, another uh, Phoenix native. Right. The fix God. Yep. The, the fix guy. Hey, funny story about that dude, man. I, so I'm, in, I'm from I'm, I live in uh, Scottsdale right now, but. You know, growing up in, in, in Phoenix, I live in Tempe or whatever. And I actually met this dude, Sincerely Collins. And when I met him, it, we was having an open run session at like LA Fitness. And oh, I, remember yes. him tell, I remember him telling me, he was like, yo, what's up, man? He always had like a book bag with him. And uh, he was like, I'm a rapper. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, cool. And like seeing that dude grow, you know what I'm saying, and staying consistent and true is crazy that I'm sitting here down, sitting down with you and you. You on the same feature with this guy. Yeah, he a cool dude. He a cool brother. He brought a cool vibe to the studio. We're gonna do yeah. some more. Yeah, we're gonna do some more work. Okay. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about uh smile a little bit. Uh obviously you you know you touched on a lot of your life stories in there. Uh correct me if I'm wrong, but that's your son in the video, right? Yes, sir. Okay. That's so, my six year old son. He he big, but he only six. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, okay, is that his nephew or is that his son? <laughs> no, that's my son. Okay, bet. Yeah, that's so that's super dope. How you know you you brought him into the picture, obviously, and you 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 letting the people know, you know, your life, your story, right? Telling your story and then having your story present is 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 is, is dope. It's you know, it's different. A lot of people don't talk. They talk about it, but they really, you know, don't know expand. I'm like, like you did, so I appreciate And I know I'm controversial that. a lot, too, so it's good that they get to see I got a mixed son, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, I didn't need, Yeah, I didn't pay attention to it that much, you know, but but that is that is dope that you that you stated that. 
Uh, but one of the things that, that stood out to me the most, man, when I heard this track, I kind of want you to explain this line a little bit. And having your son in, in, in the picture, which it makes this that much more powerful. So 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 you get into it, right? So you got a you got a pretty dope melodic hook, right? Like yeah. And by the way, hey, by the way, stay in that lane, bro, because it's fire. I'm gonna do some right. things, let the pain <laughs> out. It's fire. Hey, hey, when you get on your melodic, your melodic church vibes, bro, stay right there, because that's it. But you said uh you said shout out to all the dads that grew up without a dad, still trying to be good dads. And the baby mama let him see his kids, whether bad or a good dad. Yeah. Like, uh, bro, like, bro, like you tell you, you speak in the story of of a lot, of, especially African American black men out here, bro, that's yeah. going through the struggle, that's been through the struggle, that's dealing with the struggle. And like I feel like this line is deep and it's even deep to me. You know what I mean? Just having yeah. some of the same experiences just within this statement. So like what kind of inspired you to like, you know, to because you obviously you obviously exaggerated that. You know what I mean? Well, uh, so. yeah, what 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 more inspired that is, you know, when you raised without a dad and you know, I was blessed enough to have a stepdad, you know what I mean? But he was in and out the pen. So, you know, I had to raise myself a lot. But being raised mm -hmm. without a dad, you just don't know if you're doing a good job or not. You ain't never really seen a good, you know, a good father yourself to know yeah, if you're absolutely. doing the right thing, you know what I mean? So, you know, and mm -hmm. um, so, but they still trying and they still in their kid's life and they still there. And, you know, that's, that's, that, 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 I mean, everything to your child is your time. So, you know, they don't, yeah, they don't get enough praise. So shout out to them and shout out to the baby mamas that, <laughs> that, that having a father in, in their child's life is important, whether they feel like he's a good person or not. Not right mm -hmm. now, nephew. Um, Understanding that, um, you know, whether he's a, in their eyes, a good person or not, that he still mm -hmm. plays a big role in their child's life. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely, bro. And that's real, man. I mean, that's what I took from it. You know what I mean? But I, I obviously I wanted, I wanted you to give me your, your, your explanation of it and, and, and more in depth look on that. Cause I mean, it, it, everybody goes through it, man. Whether it's whether it's a, whether it's whether it's good or bad, the ups and the downs. I mean, we deal with it, and it's and you know it's how we make it out. You know what I mean? So definitely appreciate that line. Um, I also, hey, I also appreciate the top ramen tea. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, the, the, I grew up on top ramen. You know, top ramen. Oodles and my noodles. Life, so. Oodles and noodles. I was like, I was like, okay, yeah, he really tried to represent the struggle with this one. Yeah, he I took off the little. He, Took off the little joint and said, uh, I was like, okay, I ain't never seen the top ramen tea. Yeah, let, let the nappy <laughs> hair rock, you know what I mean? It was yes, real nappy. Sir. Too. Yes, sir. I'm surprised it didn't say chicken flavor at the bottom. Man, it should have. That's funny, bro. Yeah, that's that's funny. I appreciate that. Yeah, that was yeah, a real I, video, man. I, I, I love that. I love it. That that video was Will Smith in, inspired. You know, I want to go with like the pursuit of happiness kind of theme you know what i mean so it's got that kind of feel to it okay let's talk about let's talk about the feel and the theme of it like i i really uh appreciate like the creative idea side of it and and i, I you don't see this a lot but you had like the video going but then you had sincerely collins he had his verse and he was playing off of another youtube yeah and then like everything he was rapping about was kind of populating through like titles of other videos. Yeah, shout out to Audio Visual Coat. You know what I mean? They okay. um they had some real good I ideas and everything. And they um I did the MAGA video with them too. Okay. And put it on the Snap video. So I work with them a lot. You know, the song okay. was produced by Jack London. Okay. And um, he's actually featured on the album too, right? Yes, yeah, he's featured on the album too. Okay. And um but um, audio visual code, they gave me a lot of good ideas, and um, you know they um, they 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 real good at capturing capturing catching what you're trying to what yeah, you're trying to say and putting it putting it in visual. Yeah. You know what I mean? So 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 do you like so walk me through that process as far as working with them? Do you come up with the, with the ideas and 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 they kind of they kind of take all the ideas and then break it down and format it and then place it? Like so, you have you have the say when, when, in your vision of what your videos want to look like. I, I got all the say, but um, when mm -hmm. I work with people, I like to work with people that love to do what they do, 
And so Absolutely. I come up with my ideas, they come up with their ideas, we bring them to the table, then we go with what makes the best for us. Um, I like input. I'm all about input. You know what I mean? I'm mm -hmm. very, very, uh, very teachable. You know what I mean? Because I like to teach. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I love input. I like people that put a lot of input in. So they got a lot of input, but it's definitely, they mm -hmm. definitely go with, with my vision and what I want for the, Absolutely. for my image. You got to be a sponge at this. You got to be a sponge at the same time, right? Yeah. You know, especially when you, ain't, when you're not a master of that craft, you got to, you got to appreciate, you know, the experts. So that's dope, man. Let me ask you this, man. How, how you feel right now about, I mean, you know, when it comes to Phoenix and, and, and you know, the industry as far as, as, as the rap game in a whole, uh, do you feel like it's underlooked? Do you feel like, like it's underappreciated? Do you, do, do you feel like there's not enough push on, on, on some of these artists? Like what, what's, what's, it's, it's How, what, what do you think it's gonna take to get get to get more people like yourself heard? It's definitely not enough push when it comes to artists, you know, because mm -hmm. it's a lot of talent in Phoenix. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Um, what I think it's gonna take is a lot of artists just working with a lot of artists, mm -hmm. and um, you know, they gotta understand music. Like you know, I tell people all the time, I can work with somebody I don't even like. Because mm -hmm. I like to make music. That might make a dope yeah. song, even that energy. You know what I'm saying? I just yep. love to make music. And so, yeah. but a lot of artists, they, they put a, so they, you know, they blame it on the city, but a lot of artists also, they spend more money with out of town artists than they do with in town artists. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so what do you mean by they blame it on the city? You know how they say Arizona don't put, you know, they artists on, which is probably a lot of that too. As far as what, like like hip hop events, music festivals, stuff like that, outside stuff, third party uh, like, stuff. No, no, talking about the radio stations. You know, uh, like they don't okay. uh, play enough. Uh, so you know, artists like you know, Futuristics and Silly Collins. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They don't. Even the artists that do get the buzz, they don't. Mm, they, they don't, don't push jump behind them. You know what I'm saying? They, Which they, I, they, I don't they, know all the. I don't know all the linguistics, all that, because you know, I ain't mm -hmm. on the radio myself, so. I can't do much speaking on it, but me, I yeah. feel like I'm gonna just, I'm gonna work with everybody that's doing something and everybody that care about their craft, you know, mm -hmm. enough to try to be something because mm -hmm. I'm just learning. I'm just learning. I'm learning. You pay for what you don't know. So Absolutely. I, 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 think, I think I'm gonna be a big part of being a gap between that, you know. I think yeah, uh, once yeah. Arizona, yeah, because uh, everybody know about Arizona and you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A couple of people that did blow, you know, from really North yep. Pole, to, yep. you know, and and a couple other names I'm probably forgetting to mention, you know what I'm yeah. saying? But definitely Willie. Really, Willie really was Willie really definitely uh kinda kinda broke that broke that uh barrier. That Arizona that Arizona barrier of like, you know, hip hop talent really. Yeah. But it's just like like you said, man, there's a lot going on out here, man. And I just feel like a lot of people aren't, you know, are are aren't being exposed to it, bro. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I I mean, bef I didn't before I got introduced to you, bro. I had no idea. I yeah. had no idea about you, bro. That's, that's my fault. When I start listening to your music, no, 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 no. I got hey, I got I got to work. No, on this. So that's what I'm saying. So what 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 are what are some of the strategies? What are some of the things that you got in place to 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 kind of push your push your sound, push your your word, your vibe? Like, you know, I, it, I, obviously I, you got the social media. So I gotta I'm get out. Much, you gotta get out. In my mind, I think I'ma just I'ma just outwork everybody I ever heard of. And that's my goal. Like I, I'm not a signed artist, so I don't gotta worry about being limited mm -hmm. to how much music I can put out. You know what I mean? Yeah. The downfall of that is it's gonna be a lot of songs that people didn't hear because I didn't put enough push behind it because I'm keep releasing mm -hmm. music. But my mm -hmm. biggest thing has been sitting on music that needs to be out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then it mess around and get outdated, then you never want to release it. So absolutely you know, within the next two weeks, I'm so, dropping four videos. Do it. You know, and um I'm just do pushing it. them. I'm gonna get every give it everything I got and uh, you know, because you even if it. I only got a hundred fans, I want my hundred fans to be entertained, you know what I mean? And you gotta yeah. you gotta convert them. You yeah. gotta convert them and you gotta you gotta you gotta cultivate you gotta cultivate them, bro. You gotta get them to listen. You gotta capture them. You then you gotta you gotta convert them, and then you gotta cultivate them. You gotta make them true. 
Yeah. If it starts with that hundred, if it starts with that hundred, it starts with that hundred. If it starts with that twenty-five, it starts with that twenty-five. But I think you know some of the biggest things, as far as I mean, from what I learned and what I've you know what I've seen in the experience and even real life experiences, is man, is being consistent, bro. Yes, sir. Right. Figure out fi- figure out what works. You feel me? Figure out what works, and then and you gotta you gotta stick to that, and that's where you that's where you put all your energy towards. You know, I, I feel like a lot of people are like it's easy, like especially in the rap game. I feel like it's easy to get it distracted because everything seems like an opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so I mean, so so touching on like opportunity a little bit, like what do you, what do you what are you doing as far as like you know getting out there, letting people know who you are, seeing your face. You know, minus the music videos and everything like that. Um, you setting up with different, you setting up with the local shows, you know what I mean? You, you hitting these venues, like what's your process on, on, on setting that up? Um, I'm trying not to be so accessible, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? So, um, instead of just jumping on every show I can get on, I'm more focused on jumping on, mm-hmm. um, good shows to where I can, um, you know, uh, branch off somebody else's following and, um, <laughs> stuff like that to get noticed and getting on and, um, mm-hmm. I'm more working on my content and my, you know, social media because that's what um I gotta gotta get used to is posting yeah. and mm-hmm. learning all the the new social media stuff and everything. So yeah, I just gotta stay on top of the content. I ain't one content. thing for certain. One thing for certain, and two things for sure. Like I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna make the same mistake I made, you know, five years ago. So I'm uh, going. I'm, I'm gonna give it all I got. They gonna notice me sooner or later. And when they do, Absolutely. I'm gonna have enough confident uh, content out to keep them entertained, you know. Exactly. You gotta hit them with the teasers, man. Don't give them anything. Hit them with the teasers, and then hit them with hit them with the with the whole package, bro. You can't. Yeah. You know I'm saying you gotta you gotta get them you gotta get them you gotta get them you gotta get them going. You know what I'm saying? That, yeah. I feel like when it comes to the sound, bro, it's like as as a consumer, bro. You gotta be curious. We're, you know, consumers are curious. Like, what's next? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I feel like when you just, you know, obviously you got your singles and stuff like that, that that kind of gear up to the to the album or the project or whatever. But like, that that's that's the name of the game. I mean, just as a consumer, I know you know you the artist. And you you know you probably have a different mindset on on how you construct things, how you put things out. But as a consumer, man, they they sit back and they're curious. Like, what's next? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know, and I got a little teaser here. On. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I, you gotta have it ready, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know. Straight up. You know, they they they, they gonna see how motivated I am though. You know, today my birthday too, you know. Oh really? yeah. hey, hey, happy hey, happy birthday, bro. Oh, Cheers thanks. to you, brother. Happy birthday. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Happy birthday. Hey, bro, yes. it's my first birthday. Uh First, first birthday episode. It's going down in the books. We okay, blast this up. one. No. Go blast this one. We go blast this one. This one's important. Yes, oh sir. yeah. Okay. So, so, so it's good vibes, Dan. It's good vibes, Dan. Yeah, good vibes. I'm glad man. you said something. I'm, I'm said something. He said, "I'm gonna wait on that." He said, "I might not, say it, but if I say it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make oh, sure yeah. I line it up." <laughs> yeah, I had to say something. You know. Fa- Family keep walking through the door, you know. So if I keep yeah. tuning in off camera, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Don't think I ain't focused because I'm more focused than ever, you know. Hey, we ain't even gonna cut that out. We ain't even gonna cut yeah. that part out. We keep it. Oh, absolutely. All right, bro. Let's hey, let's get into let's get into in, into the good stuff, man. I kind of wanna I kind of wanna run a little album breakdown with you, bro. All right. Oh, I, Obviously, the, the the project, I mean, uh, Rebel, 2019. Um, was that early 2019, mid, late? It was, it's the second time it's been put out. You know, I've been um, kind of learning how to do everything myself. So I put it out a couple of different mm-hmm. ways and I took it back down and put it back out. So that's why Church and Rebel both say mm-hmm. 2019. But uh, okay. Church is more, is more early is more early 2019 and um no church is more like 2017 and then rebel is more 2019 you know okay so but, church um, church is a full project church is a project or are you just talking both. about the the, the church the and rebel okay. are, church and rebel are both full projects 
Okay, I got you. Okay, yeah, so, but they, you got they, they, church. They both on iTunes, Spotify, everything. Okay, because I didn't see the church joint on 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 Apple, but um, church. So church is a full. It's a full EP, full out, full out. Full out. Okay, yeah, they. I think they're gonna have to update you over here on uh, it iTunes, Mike. I do not. I just see the rebel, but I, I. But I do see the church. The church track, is that the track church? Yeah. Well, I think we're gonna have to get that you updated. Got Spotify too. I got SoundCloud. Yep. Yeah, I got I'm SoundCloud. Not on SoundCloud. Yeah, I uh, I got Apple we Music, SoundCloud, no Spotify. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna have to get it updated because I definitely would have I definitely would have ran through that. I did hear the track though, Church. We could talk about that one real quick because uh, the visuals is dope, the lyrics is dope. So that's a 2016 track, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, 2016 yeah. track. Then I put the album out 2017. Okay. And um. Yeah, that track is just, um, it's more like, you know, um, I'm not, I'm not, um, into the religious thing, you know, so I believe in free religion, you know, you I know, tell. Uh, you know, I'm big on energy. And so, mm -hmm. uh, church in my mind is, um, it's kind of, it's like church in my world, you know, mm -hmm. and it's like, I'm pastor of the church in my world. So it's like inviting yep. people to my church and, you know, uh, That's dope. I, yeah. That's dope. Well, then, uh, okay. So, so speaking more on, on, on church vibes, uh, on the on the Rebel album, I noticed uh, self conscious, dope track. Yeah, I like it. Like it. I was getting holy vibes on that one. I was I'm getting. I was just getting so self conscious. Fire. Yeah. Hey, so I felt. I felt there was some. You went through some life experiences that that brought you to that 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 self-conscious feel like that's the vibe yeah. it's a short track but they like it was powerful i felt like you had a lot in there like you was trying to get a message across what was that message exactly sure it's just that you know how, you know how people see you as strong they see you as you know mm -hmm. just like people might take you they see you get up work on your work on your goals every day follow your dreams so they see you as a lion and so mm -hmm. They might not think you can relate to what they going through, not knowing you go through the same things. You just deal with it different. You Absolutely. Know? And so it's just it's more to me. It's just more kind of a, just a mitten a feeling that I have, you know, like mm -hmm. I like to go to the studio, whether I'm mad, angry, sad, feeling some type of way because yeah. it's all going to be a different song. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I can, I can I tell something. that, too. Some might say that's nonsense because they look at you like, yeah, whatever. Nah. Nah, cause then that you, you giving you giving the people you go you giving the people different parts, different emotions, different feelings, different yeah. feels, which is dope. So on this on this track, break this down for me. So on a mission for the truth, I gotta do it for the youth. So 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 you don't tell me it's it's real. Show me the proof. Yeah, I thought that I thought that was a dope little line. So yeah, you know, tell, you tell know, me a little bit about that. I Mission just feel as a, as an influencer, you know, you just can't tell a kid to not do something. You kind of mm -hmm. got to give them an alternative. You know what I mean? So it's like, mm -hmm. don't just tell me that, um, you know, don't even just tell me that Jesus is real. Show me the proof. I want to see yeah. the proof, you know, uh -huh. and um, in society nowadays, especially once you start to ask questions, you become mm -hmm. enemy of the state. You know what I mean? And stuff oh, like facts. that. You know facts, I mean? facts, facts. So, don't just tell me something real. Show me why it's real so I can, you know, uh -huh. show somebody else why it's real. You know what I mean? I'm yeah. not going to just can't tell me, well, just shut up and listen. <laughs> just sit down on the chair right there and tune in. Nah, -huh. yeah. I, need to, I need to see some actions. I need to see some proof. Yeah, that's definitely the vibe that I got from it, man. It's a dope track. Definitely appreciate that one. Uh, the next one. Um, since we're talking about real, we're going to talk about real shit. Let's right. go. So yeah. you was talking. To, you, you talked a lot about your upbringing. I mean, you spazzed on this one, right? Uh, what I got from it, you know, was you was you was, you was boastful on this one. You was you was in your bag on this one. And then on the switch up, right? It's a two part joint. So on the switch up, uh, I quote, "I'm a cocky nigga. I knew my worth, and I stand on it. I know my worth, and I stand on it. Like period." 
Yeah. Right. So I feel like that's what this this song was really kind of geared around. It's like knowing your worth and standing on it, and yeah. and being real outspoken on the fact that that you're gonna stand by your your word and, yeah, and your you realness. Be, you gotta be ready to lose people and lose shit doing that. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And it's yeah. going I'm a cocky nigga, know my worth, then I stand on it. You can't get my heart because I won't let you get your hands on it. Yo. You know, mm -hmm. that's what it that's is. Real. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's 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 just from that's just from what just growing up and just seeing certain things and and streets and, and, come from the streets. Yeah. You know what I mean? It come from yeah streets, life experiences. You know what I'm saying? And um yeah. and um yeah, you know you got to go through it. You got to go through it. You know. You know that one saying, you don't know, how, you know, you don't know how strong you are till you're at your lowest point in life. You know what I mean? But absolutely, absolutely. Everything you gain from that, then when you get back, you get back up. Can't nobody take that from you. You know what it's, I mean? It's I know times, my it's times ten, times ten. Yeah. You, you know what you've been through, and you know what you got to continue to get through. And I feel like I feel like you state that a lot, man. Like, like that's 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 one thing I noticed. I like there's some tracks on her I just kept playing back because I was just like, yo, like. This dude is really consistent on 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 his worth and, and his beliefs, which is dope because a lot of people shy away from that because they because they 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 fear that it's gonna be it's gonna be used against them. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel like if more people heard like this type of like this type of sound, they'll gravitate towards it. But it's just you know it's just a matter of time, man. It's a matter. It's of time. just a matter of time because life always been a cycle. You know what I mean? Bro, full circle, full circle. Yeah. You we know, full I just circle gotta, right now. Yeah, that's why I just got to be prepared when it happens. That yeah, way I yeah, go and go crazy. They like, go wait. Crazy. They go, like, who? Hey, they could be like, wait, wait, who? Yeah. Tony, I don't who? care if somebody asks me to rap on the street. Like, let me see. You know, somebody give me a shot. I'm on the street. I need to have something ready already. Ready. Already. Always go crazy, stay ready. You know what I mean? Stay ready so you never have to get ready. Yeah. You know it. Rest in peace, Nip. Yo, rest hey. Peace, Hey, rest so, in peace, TK. Rest in peace. Uh, rest in Kobe. peace, uh, huh? Kobe. 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 Rest in peace. Rest in peace, all of them, man. Hey, so, hey, so, so, tell me this, man. You, so, I feel like you got like, like you, you, you are inspired by a lot. Like you, you, do you, do you listen? Who rest do you listen peace, to? Trap House. I couldn't forget my nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Trap House, Trap House. Rest yes, in sir. peace. D Mac Deluxe. All right, you know I had D -Max. to. D Mac to Deluxe. Hey man. Hey, hey, out, man. Uh, hey soldiers, bro. You, know. you, hey, you got, hey, speak on it, bro. You got to speak on it, man. Yeah. I respect it. So let yo check it, check it. So, so, uh, so Riptide. I don't know if you know who Boss is. He's a Dreamville signee, heavy set dude. Uh, boss. boss, B A S. Yeah, 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 yeah. My my people just I, put me, he from L A. Boss, he might boss might be from the East Coast. He might be from L A, but I want to say he's from the East Coast. Don't yeah, quote me on that. Come down like that. He he got longer hair. He got he heavy set. Yeah. He got like kind of like the, the the natural afro. You know what I'm saying? Oh. But, oh, I but think I know him. Yeah. Boss, B A S, dude is fire. So I was getting boss vibes from this, which is crazy because I was listening to this and I'm a huge fan of boss. So like, you know, when I hear certain things, I'm just like, you know, it's it's just like a like a light switch, and that's what I got off this. So I was like, this dude got this. I was like, this dude gotta listen to boss, like, cause the flow is crazy, the melody on it's crazy, like super melodic, like. I think it's a dope track. Um, so I kind of, I kind, so I kind of wanted to ask you, like, what are some, what are some of your inspirations? Like, who, who, who do you kind of, who do you kind of see? I mean, I see maybe a little big crit, you know. Um, no, my inspirations. To, when we are talking just, old school, when we talking old school. It's as simple as Snoop, Twister. Okay. You know what I mean. Um, okay. Too short. Okay. You know, uh, when we talking, you know, new school, we talking Joyner Lucas, mm -hmm. you know, um, Hobson. Hobson. I respect Dax Hustle. Dax got to hustle mm -hmm. out this world, you know what I mean? Yep. And um, those are the more where I see, you know, and I, and I say them names because they more... 
kind of the tours I see myself on and in my okay. name and the type of crowd that would respect my craft. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's funny that you say that. So the ISIS freestyle, that's obviously a playoff or a sample off off the ISIS from 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 joining. Yeah, from joining. So I, I mean that 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 was that was a given. So like I don't want to state the obvious, you know what I'm saying? That was a given, right? The ADHD kind of flow, like yeah. I mean, uh would you would Kendrick would be would Kendrick be fall in that place? Yeah. yeah, you know, Kendrick, Cole, you know, they all yeah. fall in that place, but they don't yeah. they don't really influence um they you know. They influenced my music, but right now that's who they you know they ain't really got no albums out right now. Right now that's yeah. kind of who I okay who I, um, so kind of tours so I, I see my cell phone, you know. Okay. I mean, of course, I love to be on the Kendrick tour or J Cole tour. You know what I mean? Those yeah. Are, who would? That, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's talk about it. So I'm a millionaire. I ain't never had shit. All I ever wanted was a bag and a bad shit. Above average. Told her I'd never leave her, like her dad did. Yeah, I'll be good I'll be stepfather to the bad kids. Yeah, yo, come on, bro. That's that's what we doing. So the ISIS joint was short and simple, but you spazzed on that joint. So, like, you was really in your bag on that one. Yeah, I really wanted to see how I sounded on the song. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I, I said, you know what I mean, and that's my little way of, you know, uh, give showing a little respect to Joiner. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah, so I, I think he would appreciate I think yeah, I think he'd appreciate it if you he heard that one. Yeah, when I when I do put out little songs like that though, I'm always showing love to the artist, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. You know, because it's like the fire, even if I did a track, it's like the firing squad. Yeah. I got to I gotta come yeah. with it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I gotta come with it now. Nah, that's what I like. I like challenging myself. So yeah. what wait, what 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 um What's like? What's like your? What's like your recording process, bro? Like, I mean, like, do you usually do you write, you freestyle, or like, you know, as far as like your cadences and your melodies, I notice that you switch up your cadences a lot and stuff. Like, I mean, do you um, typically your beat first? Like, what's your process? Um, I freestyle when I play around, but not when I'm when I'm in album mode. I probably throw a freestyle or two on there just to. You know, when I'm in the mode, mode but um, I, I like to write because I like to tell a story and I like to be careful what I say. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to say it just because it rhymes. You know, my studio yeah, yeah. experience is uh, it's more of a vibe. So when I go to the studio, the beat not made mm-hmm. or the song not made. We make the Everything beat right tracks. there. Then we make the song right there. You know, that's okay. why every album going to have a different sound and a different vibe. And it might not mm-hmm. sound nothing like the next album because mm-hmm. um. It depends on what story I'm trying to tell. You know what I mean? And I got yeah. a lot of different sounds. I sing, rap, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, talking about talking about different sounds. Let's talk about the number one track on the album, really. Uh, she, featuring uh, TK, TK the Loc. TK the Loc, R.I.P. Yeah. Okay, okay. R.I.P. Number, number one on iTunes. You know what I mean? Represent. Yes, sir. Uh, so obviously, obviously the, tra- the the track is about you know a bad or upside down kind of relationship. You know what Ooh. I mean? Yeah. So and so so I mean it's crazy, bro. Like I think it's a dope track. I think it's I think like, it's well it's, it's well put together. Um, I think I think your structure your structure is dope. It's on point. But I want to talk about kind of what inspired. I, my guess. This is my guess. What inspired like the 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 dark auto tune, right on a switch up? Like, like where where does that i where does that sort of idea come about? Because I, I I definitely it, wasn't expecting it. It comes from like first uh, first of all that's how my that's how the homie voice is anyway. He got like a deep voice, but it yeah. comes from like that's kind of how her spirit is. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know her spirit is dark. You know what I mean. Yeah, that's what's my guess, but I wanted you to say it. Yeah, <laughs> it's fire, bro. Yeah, that that track is uh, dope. It's yeah, it's number one on there. It's number one on the on the on the on the album, or number one on the album and number one on iTunes right now for you. So oh, that's cool. I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. So definitely, definitely want to run that by you. You know what I mean? Number yes, one. Sir. You know what I'm saying? Smile Ooh, is up there. I gotta it's get that church. Bad. I gotta get that church fixed. I feel some type of way. 
Yeah, you got to get it going, bro. Smile is on there. Dope little album cover with you and your, your, your little man on there. That's dope. Appreciate that one. Um, okay, so last one on last one on Rebel. We're gonna talk about uh Susie. Susie. Who is Susie? Who is Susie? Because the now, track is a re- I, I classify it as a statement of real. I was like, this is the perfect song for the outro, like the, just the end album, like it kind of sums up everything that you talked about. So, so Check, me if I'm wrong. Hey, how, how you doing, mama? Do, do a podcast mm-hmm. real quick. Hi, shit. Hi, do a podcast. <laughs> 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 what she say? Huh? She said you ain't. She said you ain't doing shit. Oh man. Come on, what's this for? Yeah. Oh, thank you. I ain't hey. gonna argue. Hey, tell her, hey, tell her hello, hello to hello to mom Deuce. Hello. How you doing? <laughs> She brought it off now, you know. She go. Moms, moms are welcome, bro. Family is welcome. That's just what it is. Yeah. So hey, talk, talk. Let's talk about that one real quick. I feel like it's like a sum of it's a sum of the whole thing. Now that one is cold. Right. So, um, Susie is not a. It's not like so. I wanted. I. I wanted. I didn't want the the listener to know if I was talking about America or if I was talking about a relationship. Mm-hmm. And so, Susie Taylor King. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Is you know what I mean? Is um a historic yeah. woman. You know what I mean? African American yep. woman. You know, absolutely. From back in the day, that used to mm-hmm. you know what I mean? She used to cater to the wounded soldiers and everything back in the mm-hmm. day. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. why I put it in the song. You used to tailor to your king, but now you're through. Like I hey. don't know how you ever catch it. You know what I'm Come saying? Come on, that's we talk was. we talking like 1850s to, to yeah. like early you, 1900s. You know, then you got, I feel like I've been rich since I was 10. I call that Sarah Rector. You know, Sarah mm. Rector is a wow. She's another, she's another um, you know, historical black woman. So I just wanted to drop a couple of couple of people yes. names that don't get dropped in, you know, oh, and when the right listener sit down and really dissect the song to be able to, you know, respect me as an artist, you know. Yeah. Yeah, able oh, to put us, you know. I respect it off the rip. I called it. I call. I literally titled it a statement of real. And yeah. that's what I thought. Like I was like, "Whoa, okay." I appreciate it, bro. Well, I, it's like, like a, I said. And so, and it's like America, though. You know, it's like you know, mm-hmm. like you know, this is like home. So it ain't home no more. Then it's like I'm just out here. And I'm that's the same with a relationship. Like used to tailor to me, but you know, it ain't uh, the same. Okay, I see what you did there. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so, like, what, what, what takes you there, bro? Like, what, what, you, like, to that, to that place, bro? Like, life. I, yeah. you know, I, you yeah. know, I kind, I kind of naturally live there. So it's just mm-hmm. expressing myself. You know what I mean? Just, yeah. You know, nine out of ten times, you keep it real. It's gonna be a lot of people feel the same way. That, yeah, that's, that's what it's about. That's, that's what it's about, man. Especially, like I said, being a consumer, bro. It's like we got it's it's all about relation, bro. Like not knowing the artist, but knowing the artist. You yeah. know what I mean? That's that's one of the biggest pieces, man. And I feel like those are some of the most successful and and with the long like the 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 longevities. You know, we talk about the Jay Z's, the Kendrick Lamar's, the J Cole's, and you know these dudes create a lane, right? And they stay consistent, right? And they they get this following, right? Or these 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 people who who consistently listen to their sound based on their word, but they word it. Their word is consistent. Their word is consistent. Yeah. So like, yeah, like you think of J you. Cole, you think of J Cole, you know what he rapping about is what he, he living. Yeah. You know how he living. And you he know? ain't changing up for nobody. He won't yeah. change up yeah. for nobody. And what I respect about Joyner Lucas more than his music is his visuals. Yo, yeah. So his it's, yeah, so so his new little his his new little joint that he just dropped, his little uh Will Smith joint, bro, went yeah. crazy. Yeah, he just see that, that one? Yeah, it's bananas. Yeah, bro. Will Smith even reached out to him on that joint. Crazy. His album dropped his album dropped tomorrow. Tomorrow. Shout out to Joyner. Yeah. Shout out to Joyner. The dude is the dude is the dude is definitely uh uh super creative, super talented. He definitely got the bars for sure. 
So man, yeah, so that that's that's a little breakdown. That's I mean, those are some of the tracks that like kind of stood out to me that I want to touch on. But one of the biggest ones, obviously, is 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 the Maga, the the Mega, right? So let's let's talk a little bit about that. So first off, bro, I didn't even know that there was an anti-Trump billboard off right on Grand, Grand right on Grand Avenue. I didn't even know that was I didn't even know that existed. So was that was that there first, and then you got inspired to to. To, to make the song based on the billboard or like what what's the whole process of oh, how that all came about? I got inspired to make the song um all on my own. And then uh audio visual coat, the um mm. I let them know my ideas and they thought of the uh, billboard and was like, man, it's a billboard that goes with it, and then it all came together. So the billboard was already there. Billboard was already there. So then y'all shot the then y'all so 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 correct me if I'm wrong, but you you what you took like a photo there or you had like a steel shot there and everybody yeah. thought you was a, that you was supporting the cause to make oh, America yeah, great Trump, yeah. right? And then you flipped it on them by dropping a video. Yeah to like like here's the real message, right? So yeah, that's just yeah, so I, walk I have, me through that process. Or that yeah, story. I had people I had people from high school hit me like, man, I can't believe you, man. <laughs> you switched on us. Yeah, my bad, y'all. My phone <laughs> blowing up with birthday calls. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you good, bro. You good. You good. Yeah. Uh, and so, um, and so that, that was that was fun doing that. It was hard though, you know. Some yeah, people yeah. said some crazy shit, but it it was worse for my producer Jack London, you know, because he yeah, you know, he Hispanic and white, so they was hitting uh -huh. him. You racist motherfucker. Unfollow oh, me. He lost followers. They were, oh man, you yeah. started having it. Cause the video crazy. Yeah. And we dropped the video and Phoenix yeah, Phoenix yeah. New Times came and picked it up and did an interview and everything. Yep. Yep. And then you got you got, got connected with back one, on it. You got connected with one of the local activists, right? Did I, did I read that right? Um yeah, you know, I get it. I get yeah. a little information from a little little here and there, you know. Yeah, that's what's up, man. You gotta, you gotta keep pushing your message, man. That's that's one thing I appreciate about what you're doing with, with your with your I'm movement. Not gonna, I'm not gonna mention them, you know. Nah, nah, yeah, you don't gotta mention them. You ain't gotta mention them. But uh, I do appreciate the fact that you stay true, bro. I mean, yes, you know, you you put it out there. You're gonna use you, you take it or leave it. But at the end of the day, you provide a message, bro. And uh, I love it, to be honest. I'm gonna continue following your uh, your sound. I'm gonna continue following your uh, your story, bro. So definitely keep me in the loop. But you know, we touched on it. We touched on we touched on a good amount of a good amount of things. Um, I guess like what's next for you, bro? I mean, you got you got you got so, shows coming up. I'm about, said, to, I'm about to drop about it. So this week I'm about to drop a song with Futuristic called "I okay. Told Myself." You know. And okay. then about a week from then, after I get about 50,000 streams from that, I'm going to drop the video, you know. Okay. After that, I got a song I'm excited to drop called Beautiful. That's okay. going to be very powerful. It's going to be different, you know what I mean? Okay. So I can't wait to um, I can't wait to drop that. So I got a couple singles I'm bringing. So these are, these, are, these are singles preparing for the next album? All singles, just because... I love my music, and I gotta it. get it out. You know, that's how you gotta. Next do it, album though. gonna be way different than all these singles, but I got so many different sounds, so I'm gonna put all these singles out that way. They kind of get all my sounds, and then I'm gonna so, hit them with an album so, that really confuses them. So, what's this album gonna be focused on? I mean, is it gonna is it gonna be you still gonna be on like the storytelling vibe, or you got you got a message you're trying to get across? What's what can I'm, we I'm expect? I'm gonna always be on the storytelling vibe, but um. I'm going to um, just tell a different story. I'm going to just a different phase of my life, but I'm going to just make it a mm -hmm. little more. Um, I want a little more songs for the radios and the clubs and yeah. stuff like that, you know, so I'm going to yeah. pick it up a little bit, you know. Okay. Who are some of the producers? Who are some of the producers you work with? And I'm going to sing a lot more, you know. Hey, right now, you got hey, to let them know, bro. You got you to gotta show them the roots. Yeah, I'm trying to know. sing to the women a little more, you know. Hey, but, uh, bro. Uh, I exclusively work with Jack Jack London right now. Jack London okay. and uh, uh, Paris Bueller. Okay. You know Bueller, and uh, that's that's really it right now. You know I'm looking to work with a couple of more, but keeping it okay. simple right now. 
I'm keep me posted. Monster, so I'm good. I'm in good hands. Keep me posted, man. I know, I know it's your birthday right today. You got a lot going on. I ain't gonna hold you too much longer, but I appreciate you coming by, my guy, and, and sitting down yes, with me, sir. telling me your telling your story, you know what I mean, and 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 diving into your music a little bit. We're gonna get up again though when that album yes, drops. Sir. We're gonna Man, whenever you ready, I'm ready. You know, shit. You we, know what we, I mean? The coronavirus ain't, ain't slowing me down. You know, I'm going to get together ain't. some some quarantine music. You know what some I mean? I'm going to make a song hey, called, hey. yeah, matter of fact, I'm going to make a song called Social Distance. You know, but it ain't going to be about this. Because y'all been social distance already. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, hey, Tony, totally watch up, man. You know, I'm going to say hey. something, man. Hey, sure. ain't, nothing, ain't nothing changed but the weather, huh? Yeah, man, but the, you know, it ain't nothing. That's what's up, bro. Again, bro, I appreciate you, brother. Thank you again, bro. All I got to say to you, man, is stay consistent. Stay doing what you're doing, bro. Stay true to yourself. I mean, what you're doing is working. I mean, it got my attention. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. From somebody not, not some, some, from somebody not knowing you from a bag of rocks. You know what I mean? Definitely, definitely feel your vibe, feel, feel where your, your lane's at. But, you know, stay right there, bro. Don't switch up for nobody. Happy birthday to you. Yes, sir. Appreciate you, man. Much love. Happy Just birthday words, to, to my guy on, on the episode of, you know, Sound On Live, birthday special, you know. Mom, mom there, gave me a hot 50, you feel me? A hot 50, you know. Do some Amazon shopping. Yeah. That's all we can do. Oh, man. Hey, so where, hey, where can the people find you, bro? Man, y'all can find me on Instagram, on I am Tony Watts. Find okay. me on Snapchat on Tony Watts Up. Okay. Find me on Facebook under the Tony Watts. Okay. And, um, shit, hopefully soon to be in a neighborhood near you. Hey, absolutely. Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll link everything in for you, bro. I appreciate you again, bro. We're going to get up soon, my guy. Yes, sir. Pleasure. Hey, take, take care of yourself. Go on. Nigga get real, cause she cause a lot of pain, can't sleep, still feel But whatever she ain't do, I know another bitch will Can't trust a her like I can't trust the twelves Me and you was taking L after L I got locked up and you couldn't make bail You in my air every time it get real I listen while you told me lie after lie You look me right in my eyes, stab me in my back, girl, you know